Hello everyone, welcome to our channel Bodhisattva. In this video, we are going to start our new playlist which is on Selenium with Java. So this will be first video on Selenium with Java. We will be performing automation of web browsers with the help of Selenium and Java programming language. So before starting with today's video, I would like to request all our audience, all our viewers to please like and share our videos with your friends and family and please, please, please hit the bell icon so that you don't miss out on our latest updates. Thank you. And to all the audience who have been supporting us till now, thanks, thanks a lot. So let's get started. So as I told you, this will be the first video on Selenium with Java and there are certain prerequisites which we need to follow before starting with Selenium with Java. So let's look into that. So the prerequisites are, you should actually have prior knowledge of any one of the programming languages, Java, Python, C Sharp, Ruby, or JavaScript. Then you are good to go for Selenium automation. And in our case, we will be working with Java programming language. For that, one more prerequisite is that you should have Java JDK installed in your system. So if you want to check whether Java is installed in your system or not, you can just go to the command prompt and then let me just zoom it for you a little bit okay so here you can just say java space hyphen hyphen version and press enter okay so you can see here my java version is 17 this is jdk 17 and the version is 17.0.4 as you can see here okay so in your case if you are running this command and not getting java installed then i suggest you you can go to this playlist here. I will be giving the link in the description and you can learn about how to install Java and how to get started with coding in Java from this playlist. I will give the link in the description. Don't worry about that. And if you are interested to learn Java, you can go through this playlist and learn about Java. And one more thing, if you are eager to know about the history and the advantages of Selenium, then I suggest you can also go to this our YouTube channel Codus Arcade and here you can just search for Selenium and press enter and you will be seeing that this is introduction to automation the Selenium code. You can go through this video I will give you the link in the description and you can learn about all the architecture of Selenium and move ahead and then you can come back and you can start with this Selenium automation. So these are the prerequisites and let me tell you more about this. We should also have any IDE or editor installed in your system so that we can write and edit our test cases. So we'll be writing programs for that we need an IDE. IDE stands for Integrated Development Environment. And in our case, we'll be using IntelliJ IDE ID. So these are the basic prerequisites that you require in order to start with Selenium and any programming language. And as I said, I will be using Java in my case. So let's get back here. I will just go to the ID section in my system and I will open IntelliJ ID. You can see here it's opening. I will show you how you can create a new project here. So as soon as it is open, you can just go to this new project option, click on this. And as you can see here, you have to select Java and you have to select the JDK version. For me, it is auto detecting the 16 version. I'm okay with that. I will just click on next and again next. And right now here it is asking me for the name of the project. So I will just say Selenium automation with Java. Okay. And I will click on finish. So as you can see here, it is actually creating my project. And just hold on a moment. You can see here this is the project. Inside that we will be having the dot idea folder and the SRC folder. So first of all, let me just create one package so that I can organize my code in a better way. I click and go to new and create a package. Say com.tests and press enter. And the use of packages is actually to organize your code in a better way and your project will look very good. 
when you show it to someone else and even for your maintenance it is very good to have packages packages can have different classes and you can easily organize your code in a better way so suppose i want to write my basic test cases in one folder so what i will do i'll create one more package here or one more sub package say i will say basics and press enter so i will have all my basic test cases here and when i go on to advanced topics i'll be showing you how you can create more sub packages and work on that okay so let us go back to the slide again so as i told you prerequisites are this you have to know any one of the programming languages we are using java java jdk should be installed and we should have the id for me i am using intellij idea id again let us go back to the very important concept of how the selenium web driver architecture is actually looking like so here let me just whenever we write our test cases we use any of the programming languages java python c sharp ruby or javascript these are the languages supported by selenium right now okay so all our test cases that we write are actually converted to json format and then the communication happens on the http server between the browser drivers and the browsers and that's why as you can see here we need the browser drivers of the particular browsers suppose you were trying to automate chrome browser then you should need the chrome driver okay the chrome browser driver is very important otherwise you will not be able to interact with the browsers so this is also one prerequisite so what we will do we will go to one url let me just show you that so here you can see this is the official website for selenium selenium.dev here i will go to the download section and here you can see we need certain dependencies or jar files jar means java archive we need certain dependencies so that we can run our test cases remotely so we need this jar file this is very important selenium server so what we do we just go to this stable version click on this 4.3.0 is the latest stable version okay i will just click on this and in this selenium folder that i created you can see here i have just opened it here this is the selenium folder okay i will minimize this and here i will just save this you can see it is an executable jar file jar means java archive it's the short form for java archive okay. i will just save it here and as i say in order to interact with the browsers we need browser drivers for the respective browser so what i will do i will just go down here you can see this is the browser section here i will click on this and you can see these are the links for downloading the drivers for the particular browsers so just go down you can see here say we are trying to automate chrome browser so we will need the chrome driver okay so i will click on this documentation and here you can see these are the versions let me just zoom it a little bit you can see here this is the latest beta release and this is the latest stable release but now you will be in a dilemma right you will be thinking which browser version should we download so if you want to check your chrome browser version you can just do this go to this three dots go to help and you can go to this option about google chrome just click on this you can see here this is the version of my chrome okay make sure that the browser driver that you are downloading and the browser version of your chrome are matching otherwise your test cases are not going to work so let me just show you here again you can see this is the chrome driver this particular thing and this is the version of my current chrome browser so i have to download the driver related to this so what i will do i will just go to the particular url and here i will download this table release 104.0 okay now i am on my windows so what i will do i will go to this chrome driver win32 project just click on this and in the same folder selenium i will just save this okay so this is done 
remember two dependencies one is the driver for the browser and the other one is the selenium server jar file okay this two are done so let us go back to our project now here so in this basics package i will create my first java program right click and go to new and uh, java class and i will say first automation test i'll press enter and you can see this is the first test case first automation test dot java so here first of all let me create an instance of the web driver because by creating an instance of the web driver i will be able to access all the methods of the web driver interface so i will just create it statically so that i can access it in all my methods okay so static web driver driver okay but you can see that i am not getting any suggestions right now because i have not added the dependencies so what to do right now i will go to my project right click here and create a new directory called library right library and i press enter so inside this i have to store the jar files so what i will do i'll go to my selenium folder and here you can see i have the selenium server jar file right click and copy this go back to my id here in this library folder i'll just paste it okay i'll click on okay so now it is done but even after pasting it here it's not working you can see here it says cannot resolve symbol web driver so what to do we have to actually put it in the project structure so how to do it i will just go to file go to project structure and then i will go to library section you can see here library section and i will go to plus java and inside my project i have this right in the library folder you can see this is the one selenium server 4.3.0 jar and just select this click on ok and again i'll click on ok and now i will say apply and ok so it will scan the files to index and it will add all the dependencies let's wait for some time so this is done now if i hover over this web driver you can see it's saying import class so i can import this class from the dependencies that i have added right now. so i will just click on this now there is no problem at all so what to do now next step so i will say psvm because i want my main method so i will press tab and now i have my main method here so you remember we downloaded the chrome driver.exe we have to tell our program where the chrome driver is located so one very good practice i want to tell you people here is that always store your chrome driver inside your project itself so that whenever you are giving that project to anyone else or suppose you are shifting this project from this machine to any other machine all the dependencies are going along with the project to the other machine that is very efficient otherwise because of some other folders where you have your dependencies it might fail your test cases so good practices you have to keep it in the same project so here i will just say right click i will create one new directory and i will say drivers and inside this i will paste all my drivers so right now i am automating chrome browser so i have already downloaded it as you saw here so this is the zip file i will just extract it first of all extract and if i open this chrome driver you can see this is the chrome driver executable file okay copy this go back to my project and now inside the drivers folder and just paste it click on okay now it's done now i have to tell my code that i have stored my chrome driver inside this particular project in the drivers folder right so i will write this system dot set property so there are two things that have to be written here first thing is the 
type of driver that I am using and the second one is the path to the driver okay so we have to write web driver dot chrome dot driver the second thing is the location so right now I have it in my directory right in my project itself in the drivers folder as you can see here I have chrome driver dot here so what I can do is I can just say dot forward slash it means that I am inside my project only and I will go to the drivers folder inside that I have my chrome driver dot exe so this is how it is done guys we have to set the property first thing is we have to tell the code which driver we are using for different browsers it is different for chrome we are writing chrome driver for firefox we write capo driver and so on after that we are giving the path to our chrome driver okay the executable file after that suppose we are trying to automate chrome and open the url google.com how to do it so with the help of this driver instance as you can see here we can actually get access to all the methods inside the web driver instance actually web driver is an interface which is a parent of all the drivers so instance of web driver we can automate all the drivers that i told you ie driver ie browser edge browser brave browser chrome browser and so on so we can just use the driver instance and we can say new chrome driver because we are going to automate chrome so you can see this is how you can do it I am creating a static web driver instance and right now I am instantiating it to the Chrome driver. You can see it here. We can do it for all the others, say Firefox, Safari, and so on. Now our code knows that we are trying to work with the Chrome browser. Okay. So just we say like this driver dot. You can see we are getting access to all the methods. So I will use the get method. Suppose we are trying to automate Google. So what I will do, I will just click on this enter and inside this, I have to give the URL. So I will just say HTTPS colon double slash www.google.com. Okay. So we can also use this method, say driver dot navigate dot to and inside this we can pass the url this is also correct your wish you can use any one of these see here also you can pass the same url in this okay so let me just delete this i will use the other one the first one and now let us run this so that we can see our output right click done and let's wait and see it is building You can see here Chrome driver was started successfully, and this is the Chrome driver. You can see Chrome is being controlled by automated test software, and it should open Google. Yes, it is open Google. And okay, this is done. So, congratulations, we have written our first automation test script and automated Google using Google Chrome. So, any doubts, any queries about this? You can post them in the comment section. I will be very happy to clarify them. Thank you. And we will be learning more and more on how to click on different web elements, how to click links, how to input text into the search box and many more. So thank you for watching. See you in the next video. Bye-bye.